friends welcome to tp tutorials let us get to know the general idea of primavera software in this tutorial after the installation of the software let us open the project management tool primavera on the login screen by default the login credentials are admin admin for both the login name and password on the database by default it is ora pmdb that is oracle project management database if you have any other install servers in your organization you can select that if not let the default be there as it is and click ok to login once you log in this will be your startup window containing the enterprise data and project data. You can observe that enterprise data comprises of projects, resources, reports and tracking. Whereas project data comprises of WPS, activities, WPS and docs which gets enabled only when a project is open. Right now you can see this has been in an inactive mode. Got it friends? Now first let us see how to set this startup window. Go to the edit tab. Click on user preferences. Here go to application section and in the startup window from the drop down menu select the particular section that you wish to see as a startup window. You can change the password by going to the password section here and then set the new password as per your wish. If you want to change the language of tools, go to tools tab in the menu bar, select set language and from here you can select the desired language from the drop down menu and click OK. Now let us see navigation of toolbars. The topmost bar is known as the title bar. It displays the name of the open project. It will show as no current project if no project is open. So currently it is showing it as no current project. The bar below the title bar is called as menu bar. You can toggle multiple tools on this menu bar. Click on view tab and click on toolbars and select the toolbars that you wish to make them visible. Now I am selecting the navigation. Now you can see the navigation bar is made visible. This is called as navigation bar. I also select the directory bar now. You can hide or unhide the toolbars as per the requirement like this. The bottom most bar is known as the status bar. Click on projects from the home tab to view all set of projects. Using the projects tab you can add delete projects. Using the resources tab you can add three types of resources that is labor, non-labor and material. Next let us go to report section in the directory bar. This shows all the types of reports that are available in our Primavera by default. Next item is tracking. This will be primarily used for updating the schedule of a project. Next is WPS. This section will be active only when any project is open. You can add, delete, or do any actions regarding the WPS elements using the buttons in the command bar which is at the rightmost side. Now go to the activities window. From here 
you can add, delete, replace or do any particular action on activities. You can as well add durations, dates, relationships, etc. in this activities window. We shall be discussing all these in detail in upcoming tutorials. Next is assignments. Here we can assign the resources to any activity or WBS. WPs and docs. It is nothing but work products and documents. Here we can store all our important project related documents like contracts, drawings, scope documents, specifications, comments or any other particular notes. Basically, this will serve as a document management tool where you can store all your data. Next is the expenses section where all the budget related information can be fed into the section. Next items are threshold, issues, risks. These shall be discussed in detail in upcoming tutorials. So friends, this is all about the navigation in your Primora software. So friends, if you have liked this tutorial, please do give a like, share and comment. And for further more interesting videos, please do subscribe DP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.